way out to sea there lies an island. It's got sandy beaches, thick forests, grassy meadows, and swampy rivers. Here live all sorts of animals and birds. These are the antics they get up to and the tales they have to tell. It's late afternoon. And it's tea time for the pretty lorikeets. They're called rainbow lorikeets because their feathers are so brightly coloured. Oh, lovely day today. I've flown right round the island. What have you been up to? Hello, Larry. Uh, we've been busy flying about too. Makes your feathers all dusty. Here, give us a scratch. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got it. All the chattering wakes up Kevin the koala. Who's making all that noise? How's a chap supposed to get any sleep? Ooh. Oh dear, looks like we've upset him. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Have you been asleep all day? Koalas can sleep for 19 hours every day. <sighs> You always miss the action. Yeah. But the sleepy koalas don't have as much energy as the birds. And sometimes they spend hours just sitting in the same spot. Kevin decides to climb to the top of his tree to get away from his noisy neighbors. Down by the river, the crocodiles are being lazy too, snoozing in the late sun. They often sleep with their mouths wide open to keep them cool. They can lie for hours without moving a muscle. But Frank is still out and about, enjoying the water. No, oh, I do love swimming in the water. <laughs> the crocodiles also spend lots of time underwater. Their thick eyelids keep the water out of their eyes. Nothing like an early evening dip before settling down for tea. Back up in the gum tree, Kevin has found some tasty leaves for his tea. Oh, delicious! And then I'll go straight back to sleep. Oh, all he thinks about is sleeping and eating. I wonder how long it would take me to eat every single leaf on this tree. But the lorikeets aren't listening. They're more interested in keeping their feathers neat and tidy. Well, that's that branch nearly finished now. Which one shall I have next? Oh, these ones up here, I think. Down in the long grass, the kangaroos are waking up from their afternoon nap. Oh, nearly time to go for an evening hop. Oh, that's better. Oh, got an itch. Get out of it. Oh, oh, the kangaroos aren't feeling very energetic today. No point in rushing things. We've got the whole evening ahead. Oh, yeah, you're quite right. The kangaroos will wait until dark before they think about moving too far. As night finally falls, Kevin is still busy eating leaves. Just one more. It's been a long meal for the koala, and tomorrow, not even the noisy birds will wake him up. 